Good morning. I hope today finds you well. Today is um, part of my series I'm trying to do on building a project enclosure in OpenSCAD. And I started yesterday with part one, and part one was focused around understanding the Minkowski sum, which is a great tool to uh, create you know, nice rounded edges of whatever radius or other shape you would like. Uh, today, as you can see, uh, this is going to be a little bit shorter, I hope, and it's to this is to create the the top half of the case. So you can see how the the ledge is inverted, so it's uh, it, it will be received by the bottom half. Um, a lot of what you learned in part one will be used here. Uh, there are just some minor differences. So let's get started. By uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to copy some of this because that's the same as part one, and this is what we'll be doing that's different. So we're going to start a whole new document. We'll paste that in, and we already and let's um, just see what we got there. So this is this is the hollow shell. Let's change. I hate looking at choppy drawing, so let's change this to 50. Now you may you may have to leave it low if your if your drawing gets complete very complex. So there we have the bottom of our box, um, and what we need to do is we need to cut cut out this outside edge. And that's what we'll be doing today. So to, to cut out the outside edge, we need to make an object that, that's shaped in, in uh, shaped to remove what we want to remove from, from this base. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna do two Minkowskis and we're gonna, we're gonna subtract one from the other to create sort of a, a cutting tool. And we'll begin begin with that. I can start out by just copying this one down. And I want my, this is going to define where we cut into. So I want this to be just one, I want this to be one unit smaller than the outer, than this outer edge here. So I want to go in between these two lines. So these are two units. Um, so I want to go right in between them. I think they actually turn out to be one unit, but at any rate, so we're going to do we're going to do nine by nineteen. Um, oops, and we're going to be do, actually be doing a square and a circle because we don't want it to be a full Minkowski. We I want this edge to be flat. So if I did a cube and a sphere. The, the inside corner would be curved and I don't want that. So with our square we don't need height and we're going to keep center to true. So that's the first one. Now this all this work I'm going to do, I'm going to translate this up the z-axis and the reason I do that is just so I can see it more easily. Um, you know when I'm working on one piece that's not yet assembled I, I just like to um, get it somewhere where it's easier to see. So I kind of put a translate there and uh, but first you have to correctly set up your object. So I'm missing a bracket and I'm missing a parenthesis. Oops, no, not missing a parenthesis. Okay, so that's, that's the piece I created. And you can see when you look at it, it's just a little bit smaller. Uh, let's just a little bit smaller than the object that's going to cut out. That's not the piece we're going to cut with. That that's this piece is going to be is is going to difference the uh, a second piece. So let's copy this off. And this one we're going to make slightly larger than the outer limits of this box. Um, so that's going to be um, a square that's 12 by 22. And, now right away this is just going to obscure the first one so it looks like it's just got bigger but you've got one inside the other. So now we want this, the inner square, to cut out the outer square. So we're just going to use a difference for that. Someday I'll learn how to type. Eh, why bother? Okay, so that's our cutting tool. That's what we're going to use to cut out the top edge of this. So now let's Translate that down. Let's get that back down there. So now it's just sitting on top of it. All right, so it's up by one. 
So we want it to actually go down, uh, cut into this by one unit. So we're going to go negative one on the Z. Oops, nope, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot a whole piece. So let's let's translate that back up. So the, so the next piece is, the thing about squares and circles is they have no width. They're really, it, it, it's showing a width, but that's just so you can see it. Otherwise, it'd just be a line or a, a plane. So what we've got to do is we've got to give each one of these their own width, uh, their own, you know, or depth or whatever. And the way we're going to do that is with a linear extrude. And that linear extrude is going to have to have different heights for each one of these. So the first one is we're going to make it five. And that's this is arbitrary because I'm just going to be cutting only one unit in. So you see that made the outer one five units tall. So now that has size. So the second one, and the reason I'm making this a different size, let me show you with, with the five first you'll see that these planes intersect and op and and OpenSCAD doesn't like intersecting planes when you're doing differences because it leaves this this artifact that's not really there and you see that it's on the top and on the bottom okay so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna extrude this by six okay now I still have that plane on the bottom I don't I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem but I'm not gonna deal with that in this tutorial I think you could do, I think you could just translate this by like by 0 0.0101 or something uh, so that it gets rid of that and it makes it uh, printable, perhaps. I don't know. Let's try, uh, might as well just try it. Let's just do Z by 0 0.001. Nope. So there's not. <laughs> Let's try it by 0 0.01, see what happens. Or no, I'm sorry, it should be minus 0.001. Yeah, so maybe that'll make it printable. We'll see. Let's keep that in mind. So now we're going to move this whole sucker down to negative one. So it's just going to trim off one piece of the one piece of the uh, thing. So that that looks like it's going to be right. So my final step is to pull when my part is the way I want it is to pull my difference down and hit a five, and that's it. And that's how you create your the the top half. So this is received by the this is the lid that's received by the the base. And on on the on the next one, we're gonna add um, we're gonna resize both of these to fit an Arduino, I think. And we're gonna add posts. Thank you for watching. If you like it, if you like this video, please uh, please click uh, a like. If you if you want to see the next part in the series, make sure you subscribe to the channel and, and click on the little alert bell so you know that that it's been posted uh, this box video I'm going to just try to do this straight through one every day one or two every day and um, I'll join you tomorrow thanks bye